my name is August here at the Central City Library. Today's STEM demo program is an ice melting race. So what we're going to do is see how hot the sun is and how much it can affect different materials by putting an ice cube on top of different materials like tin foil, plastic baggie, white paper, and black paper to see which one will make the hottest surface. And we'll see that by seeing how fast the ice will melt on each of the different materials. At home, you can do this with whatever materials you have. So you could do um, a napkin or any colors of paper or um, an old magazine or in a cup or in anything you can think of. You can try putting an ice cube on it in the sun. And we're doing this at noon, so it's the hottest time of the day. So you could also try the same experiment at different times of day. Maybe it will turn out differently. Before you start, you can write down the different materials that you're using to test your ice on. Here I've got tin foil, black paper, a plastic baggie, and white paper. And then we're gonna write in the amount of time it takes the ice to melt when it's sitting on each one of these materials. So let's get started. Okay, so now it's time to start our experiment. First, you need to make a guess, a hypothesis. Which material do you think will make the ice melt the fastest? I actually added another material that I found to a piece of felt because I thought it could be cool to try fabric. So you can make your guess on this video. Which one do you think will make it melt the fastest? And then when you do this experiment at home, you can make a guess based on your own materials too and write it down on your paper to see if you're right at the end. So let's get started. We're going to get our ice cubes and put an ice cube on each of the materials. Ice cube on foil, black paper, white paper, you have to write down what time you started your experiment so that you know how um, how long it's been to get each how long it took each ice cube to melt so what time is it 12 24 12 24 so we're gonna write down 12 24 and we'll check back in in two minutes to see how much each ice cube has melted okay so it's been two minutes since we started the ice melt race. And we're gonna look really close now at the different ice cubes to see which one we think is melting the fastest. So come over and have a look. This is what the one that looks on the, that is on the felt looks like. Doesn't look like it's melted that much to me. And what about the one in the baggie? I see some water in there, but it's still pretty solid. Maybe the baggie is kind of insulating, keeping the cold in around the ice cube. Here's the white paper. That's melted a lot. It seems like the paper really um, holds on to the heat in a way. With the black paper, it's melted even faster. Look at all of that water melt that's all around the ice cube. And that foil, that ice cube is tiny. Can you believe it's melted that much in just two minutes? All right, so we took our two minute check-in and we're gonna check back in in four more minutes and see how much the ice has melted then. Okay, so now it's been four minutes since we last looked. So we've had six total minutes of waiting for the ice to melt. So let's check in with the different materials. First, there's our felt. 
which I think looks really cool because as you can see, the, the melt around the ice cube isn't really spreading very much. And so maybe that's why this ice cube is still so intact, which means all in one piece. If we look at the baggie, things have really changed. There's a lot of melted ice in that baggie. You can see it is spreading all around. The white paper is still big, but not that, not that much melted. Um, everything seems to be kind of contained, so it's a little bit in the middle. If you look at the black paper, whoa, this ice cube is really melting. I actually see like double melt. It's like the outer level of the ice cube melted and then the inside of the ice cube is melting too. So that one's going really fast. And the foil, this ice cube is tiny. Remember how big it was at the beginning? Now it's like really, really little. So that ice is melting fast. So we're gonna check back in when the first ice cube melts all the way. And we'll tell you who won the ice melt race. Okay, so our first ice cube has just melted. The winner of the ice cube race is the black paper ice cube. And it took 15 minutes since we began for that ice cube to melt. And as each of your ice cubes melt, you can keep track of the time and fill in how long it takes each ice cube to melt on the different materials. Once you've figured them all out, there are still some questions you can ask yourself. Why did it take so um, long for the felt ice cube to melt? Why was the black paper so fast? These are some questions you can begin asking, and you could also ask, how could you make all of these things melt faster or slower? What would happen if you had a giant piece of foil, or if you made it into a tent, like a, a cone shape, would it melt faster? You can try this experiment again and again with different materials to see how it affects the melting of the ice. I also just saw that our white um, paper ice cube is the second place winner. So I think it's been um, 17 minutes since the beginning of the race when the ice, uh, the white paper ice cube finished the race. So we'll add that on there. And then the last thing before we close this video today is that I wanted to let you know that you can check lots of books out at the library about heat and cold, um, about thermodynamics, which is the relationship between heat and energy and about the water cycle, which is what happens when water melts, evaporates, goes back up into the atmosphere, and then comes back down as rain. So thank you for joining us for this STEM demo today. You can see all of our programs on our library website at nolalibrary.org, and we hope your ice melt race um, is super fun at home. Bye.